time to rehouse a Pteranoculus marinus, uh, which is an old world species, tarantula, a tan baboon, known to be very feisty and defensive. So what are you using for, uh, for terrariums here, Tim? Where did you find these things? Oh, I found this at Canadian Tire. So he uh, borrowed a drill from me earlier and drilled some holes in there so that the air can get through and he's drilled them at the top and the bottom. This is a kind of a scary tarantula, actually. They're known to be pretty, uh, pretty spicy. So that's why we're in the bathroom. Do the shit in the bathtub. It has no way to escape in here. Wow. <laughs> well, well, it, it probably can. <laughs> it's got little hooks uh, on its feet, so if uh, if it decides to climb the walls, it might just be able to. I guess we'll find out. Well, I don't know how this is gonna go, really. Like, in a perfect world, I could kind of get it out right from out of there into there, but I've got some catch cups and uh, some forceps, and I might use a little water to get this guy out, but this spider, super fast, it might just bolt right out here and start running all over the goddamn place, so let's see what happens. Well, I'm just gonna do some gentle disrupting. The lid's been taken off, so I'm sure it knows something's up. Let's see what we can, see if I can get him to commit to bolting here. That thing is so strong. Mm. Not even close, eh? Well, it's holding its ground, right? It wants to, it wants to stay in its burrow where it's safe. Well, I'll see if I can prod this guy out a little bit. Hasn't turned to face. Oh, Here we go. Big boy. Oh yeah. Little dump and chase. Ooh. I need another pair of tongs. All right. Well, here's a long shot. Oh. Dude, beautiful. Like a friggin' pro. Just Went right where we wanted him to go. Beautiful cool. Spider. Oh, it's so pretty. That it, is a it, really cool terrarium now. Alright, so update. A long time since we've done anything with the tarantulas. It's been a hot summer a little bit here the last couple weeks, so we've had quite a few molts. I think we've had 26 molts since uh, February when we got these guys in. And we're gonna do a live feed today. We got a couple that are uh, really hungry coming off of a molt. Uh, this guy here, the Kilobrachis fimbriatus, which is the Indian violet, is Pumped. This thing wants to eat. Big time. Oh, <laughs> scared it away. It'll come back up then now. For these little guys here, I want to get a, a cricket that's not too big. Sweet. All right, well, we're gonna feed Nandu Kramatis here. See what happens. Wow, nailed it, fucking wow. instantly. Like I said, right, these guys are, their prey drives really high right now. They are fucking stoked. I, I bet you that this little fucker would probably kill another one if I dropped it in there right now. He'd fucking just smash it just like that one. Anyway. 
Yeah, so that was our Nandu Chromatis, and this one just molted about three weeks ago. I, I let it chill for about 10 days. Threw a cricket in there, and it just freaking smashed it. So we kind of waited till this weekend now. I had a good feeling that was gonna happen, and we got our next guy here, the Brachypelma albiceps. Same thing, just freshly coming off of a molt. Super hungry, the weather's been hot, and I anticipate that this one's gonna be just like the last one. It's just gonna hit it like a freight train. This tarantula surprises me. Here we go, let's see. Yeah, oh, wow. baby. Toast. Nailed it. Yeah, not Got even, him! Not even a problem. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, like I said, these guys are fucking like really savage. Yeah, so the Brachypelma albiceps literally is like a little bulldozer this last week. Just took everything, all the substrate, pushed it all up, packed it up against the wall, covered its water dish. H have a look at what this guy's been up to. I'm super stoked about the Killabrachys here. It's a fossorial species, which means it spends all its time in the substrate. We virtually never see it. Um, it's burrowed all the way down and it's got multiple chambers now coming up. Basically for the last month and a half I haven't seen it. The top of both chambers have just been sealed up and I never did anything, never bothered it. Just the other day it was fully opened up and I could see the legs out and they were like twice as big as last time I saw it so I knew that this one molted down there and when you see they open up the top of that burrow you know that that means they're open for business. Yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, if live feed feedings bother you, don't watch. I want to see if I can coax this little turd out of here a bit. Can you see from there good? Yep. Oh! Right back into the game. So the fucking Vagans, Mexican red rump is actually a pretty sketchy tarantula. They're a new world species, but they're like, call them the evil Vagans for a reason. And I'm not really sure if this one's hungry right now or not, but we're gonna find out. Sensing something. Yeah, that was so fast. And it like flipped almost upside down. Let's see what happens. We'll just throw this in there and see if it finds its way. Oh yeah, come on out. Come on out. It's fucking hungry. Yes. <laughs> This has been pretty cool so far because we don't often have feeds using the tongs and then just directly taking them off of the tongs. Like we do from time to time, but typically when we go to film, nobody wants to eat. Go oh, fucking figure, right? So tonight though, they're hungry. They're hungry. Well, so, we we have been feeding them heavily. It is summertime, the temperature's up, right? And so we've been feeding them quite heavily and we've got a couple molts out of everybody and it's been really good. But this last week, I've been feeding these guys, you know, two times a week. And this last week we didn't, we didn't feed them. They were all looking really plump and they were coming off of really aggressive feeds last week and I thought it was good to just trim them down. Get their prey drive, it was nice to see everybody kind of coming out and like I could tell everyone was waiting for food and uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a good feed today, that's for sure. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Fucking That's awesome.
this specimen is like, it's a true Asian old world man. Like it's so aggressive and fast and just, yeah, that, that tarantula is the same as it was, you know, oh, millions, right? Like, like up to a hundred million years ago. Yeah. Call that the happy dance in the hobby. And yeah, tarantulas do that when they're eating. That is fucking sick. So we fed a whole bunch of teas. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. We certainly did. But before we go, I want to show you, in a previous video, one of the tarantulas lost a leg in a mole. Which one is that, Tim? That one's the uh, Bracapelma bohemia, the Mexican uh, fire leg. Mexican fire leg. So, I'll show you, and then you can see Mr. Gimpy Dimpy. Here it is. You love him anyway. You see that little leg there? That little tiny leg right there. She will probably have that leg back in a molt or two. So we'll keep updating you as the strong arm grows. But thanks for sticking around and there'll be some more tarantula stuff for you guys later. Tarantulas with Tim. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, send us a comment, how many tarantulas you got, show us your feeding videos, all that jazz. We'll see you next time.